In the Old Testament, God told his people, the Lord will fight for you, stand still. The battle is the Lord's, stand still. The New Testament, the language changes. Ephesians 4.27, he says, you give no place to the devil. The Lord is fighting for you, but I want you to do something. You give no place to the devil. That means you keep the door of your life shut to the devil. In Ephesians 6, he says, you put on the full armor of God. And having put on the full armor, I want you to stand firm. In the New Testament, God says to you and me, and he says, the weapons of, the, of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And he says, so that means you and I must use the weapons of warfare God has given to us. In the New Testament, he says, fight the good fight of faith. This is 1 Timothy 6, 12. He says, you fight the good fight of faith. God is going to fight for you. The battle is the Lord's. He's still the mighty warrior. He's still the God who fights for his people. He's still the God who causes his people to triumph. But he wants his people to fight the good fight of faith. The rules of engagement have changed. And God is saying, now in the New Testament, I have done everything I need to do for you. In fact, I've already fought the battle. I've cleared out your enemy. Now I want you to walk in my completed work. Meaning God has said, I've already fought your battle. I've already crushed the head of the serpent. I've already conquered your enemy. I want you to just go and enforce my victory. The rules of engagement in the New Testament has changed.